Hey guys, welcome back to another tech report and today I want to talk to you about those pesky 1-800 tech support scams because they're back and they're back with a vengeance. You may be familiar with something like this. Calling technical support department, this is Ben, how can I help you today? We are a Microsoft certified technician. We are certified to work on every Windows computer. I'm sure you are Ben, or should I say Rajesh? Keep listening. You have to follow the steps, then we will work in your computer and we will try to fix the computer. Now just look at your keyboard on the left hand side bottom corner, there will be a Windows key, a key with the four squares on it. Now just press the Windows key, hold it down and then press the letter R, R as in Robert. Oh, I'm sorry, your computer is facing a lot of virus. Do you have thousand dollars? A thousand dollars? I mean, do these guys even know how business runs? Anyway, the sad thing is that a lot of people are getting scammed like this every single day and these guys are getting rich off it. The scam technique that these con artists are using is by abusing the programming interface known as the Windows Navigator Blob and MS Save Blob. Basically what they do is they combine API with other functions and they force the browser to save a file to our hard drive over and over so quickly that the page becomes unresponsive and normal users like us can't see what's happening and you're trying to close the page and it's completely unresponsive, it completely crashes the browser and it spikes the processor up to 100% and you're left with nothing but just the page in front of you and you've got no choice but to shut the computer down. At this point, most people will panic and they won't know what to do, so what they'll do is they'll actually call the number that's on the screen, hoping to get some technical support from Microsoft, but um, little do they know that Rajesh, uh, I'm sorry, Ben, and the rest of his call center buddies are waiting patiently on the other side, eagerly anticipating to help you, and hopefully get a thousand dollars. Fortunately for us, there is an easy way to protect ourselves from such disaster simply by installing an ad blocking extension in our browser. One of my favorites to use is AdGuard because it supports anti phishing and also blocks malicious links. I am going to show you in the next bit how to install it in Google Chrome and also Microsoft Edge. If you're a Google Chrome user, all you have to do is just point your mouse to the top right hand corner where the three little dots are and click on that and go down to More Tools and then over to extensions. In the extensions window, go over to the left in, and click on the hamburger menu and then scroll down to open Chrome Web Store. Once you're in the Web Store, just search for AdGuard and hit enter and select the first one on the list. Simply click on Add to Chrome click on add extension and then the configuration extension page will come up simply scroll down and tick these boxes a filter for all known counters and analytical systems you want to have that on social network widgets filter you can safely leave that off protection against phishing and malicious websites switch that on participate in the development you can switch that off Allow search ads and self-promotion, switch that off. And that's it, you're done. If you're using Microsoft Edge, you can also go to the top right hand corner and click on the three dots and then go to extensions. Scroll all the way down to explore more extensions. This will take you to the store and simply click on Ad Guard Ad Blocker and install. Once it's done, you can simply click on launch and then click on turn it on and the configuration page will load just the same way as it did in Google Chrome and just tick on the same boxes as we did with Chrome. First box is on, second box is off, third box is on, fourth box is off and fifth box is off. That's it, simple as that. This will also give you the green shield on the right hand top corner to let you know that you're protected 
and that's it thank you so much for watching i hope this video has helped you and don't forget to share this video with your friends and family to help them prevent themselves from getting scammed and uh, if you don't mind just hit that little subscribe button down below i would really appreciate it thanks again till next time